Memorial service organized in her honor by the University of Nairobi, speakers eulogized the fallen scholar and author as a trailblazer who dared speak out against oppressive political regimes and human rights abuses. Professor Michele Gidayamugo died on the 30th of June in the United States at the ripe age of 81. Mary Mwoki with the details. Continents. A unique gathering at the University of Nairobi's Taifa Hall, bringing together the cream of Kenya's top scholarly minds, the Department of Literature on Tuesday organized a service to memorialize the life of Professor Michele Githai Mugo, a former lecturer in the Department of Literature and a former dean of the Faculty of Arts. Speaker after speaker espoused her very sharp and persistent focus on academia, human rights and the arts. That even those of us who were never directly taught by her uh, still feel her influence. I personally was taught by lecturers and teachers who were taught by Professor uh, Michele Gidai Mogo. That although thousands of miles away, Professor Michere was working with social justice centers here in Nairobi. I felt so challenged. The late Professor Michere Gidai Mugo was a woman of many firsts. She rose through the ranks to become the first woman in the country to become dean in the Faculty of Arts at the University of Nairobi. Her fierce criticism of the government resulted in her leaving her post and going into exile in 1982. Nevertheless, an educationist at heart, she set up a fund to pay school fees for needy but bright students in line with her philosophy of Ubuntu. family of the late Professor Michelle Mugo established a bursary fund called the Jerry Global Children's Award, which seeks to support Kenyans uh, who are from uh, disadvantaged backgrounds but are bright to be able to access uh, uh, university education and even basic education. We must pay tribute to people like Michele Mugo for what they've done in our country. Very committed and dedicated to the cause of emancipation of our society. For me to be a feminist... A lover of art, the late professor was also an accomplished writer, poet and playwright, and in her memorial service, her peers waxed lyrical and used poetry to honor her. When you meet Wangari Mathai, let her know the struggle for the an ecologically safe Kenya and the planet continues. Where my motherland buries our heroes alive, stubborn survivors and mourned and decorated and remembered. Her family remembers her as a gentle and kind human being who never met a stranger she couldn't befriend. She was very confident in everything which she did very hardworking, courageous, brave. And this would be evident as we have seen and will hear in her later life. She was a fighter. She stood her ground when she knew that she was speaking the truth or when she was speaking for the less fortunate members of the society. She was a professor of literature at Syracuse University and was known for her fierceness as a human rights defender, a distinguished scholar and a revered author. <laughs> professor Michele Githai Mugo died on Friday, June 30th at the age of 81 after years of battling.